Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. I'm down here poolside in Mexico enjoying some of the weather heat. And so I'd like to thank the sponsor today's video helped me with my travels being Surfshark VPN. Yes, that's right. So Surfshark VPN, keeping us safe on the internet. So VPN is a virtual private network, helps protect your data while you're online. Whether you're using public networks, traveling, etc., to help keep your data safe. Of course, it is unlimited devices, so you can share it with your friends, family, you can use it on your phone, your Xbox, your computer. It comes with a money-back guarantee. You can also use it to change your geography, so you'll be able to access restricted data based on your region. Which can actually help you to save on things like flights and even actually rental cars. Not to mention it'll also allow you to access new shows, but also access things like Disney Plus if it's not available in your country. And right now you can get 84% off and four months free. Yes, that's right guys, 84% off, four months free. But this deal is only available until January 1st, guys. So definitely act now by using that link on screen, that code Joel8. So yes, definitely go to Surfshark VPN, guys. Go check them out right now. Go grab yourself the VPN for the best deal of the year, guys. So 84% off, four months free. Click that link, check that code, and then let's get the rest of the video. Whoa. What's up everybody? Good morning. Today we are in the middle of nowhere in Alberta, like literally the middle of nowhere. Uh, and I'll show you what we've been seeing for the last like two hours or three hours at this point. This. There's just fields. And it is flat, which is basically Alberta unless you go to the mountains. But not saying that's a bad thing, just this is what we've been looking at for the last three hours. So, what we're doing today, we're going to a place called Ralph's, I think it's called Texas Bar and Grill. So, at this place, we do their big burger challenge. It's about a four pound burger. I think there's a side of fries or something. Maybe we can switch it up. I would love a salad right now. We've been eating so many fries and stuff. Of course, with Mr. Scott. Scott, up, guys? ready to do some eating and stuff? Uh, all right. Yeah, we like, we yeah. had <laughs> two challenges yesterday, which were super, super late. Like, by the time we finished, it was probably nine o'clock, maybe. And then, now, it's nine. 25 a.m. So by the time we end, we're gonna eat this around like 10, 10 30. So yeah, but anyway, yeah, so it's Ralph's in Medicine Hat, Alberta. So yeah, Medicine Hat, super cool. Let's go see what it's all about. Do you know the time limit? Uh, I don't know, I think probably half hour. Yeah, well, I'll give you the details, but like a four pound burger, Ralph's should be fun, Medicine Hat, Alberta. Let's go! So here we are with the challenge. Uh, looks really good. So the King Ralph, that's what this burger challenge is called. So we're talking two pounds of beef, a whole bunch of bacon, a whole bunch of cheese, a massive bun. They cut it into four for us, so that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, then we also have a basket of fries. So this challenge is undefeated. That is right. So an individual before has like completed just the burger, but they couldn't make it through the fries. So undefeated challenge. This thing's been around for years. So we're hoping to finally dethrone the king. Get it, it's called the King Ralph. Uh, uh, so yeah, we have one hour to do it. Scott, ready to eat some delicious looking burger? I'm starving. Well, I love beef, I love Alberta beef. This thing smells delicious. I smell bacon, I smell cows. What, like, cook cows, that is. <laughs> I have no complaints, so we're gonna start here momentarily and uh, let's get her going. Scott, you ready? Absolutely. All right, well, let's Scott do does not have his timer today. Scott's slacking today. It's in the no, car. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start here with a count of five. This is a, this is a, it's a big burger. Well, it's good though. Oh yeah. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. Look at that. It's just, I got my ketchup here as well. I'll dig into that momentarily. But so I can five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. Cheers. Good luck, Scott. Juicy. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are at Ralph's Texas Bar in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Here doing the King Ralph Challenge. So undefeated burger challenge this thing had been around for years as i said and no one had ever completed it so really excited uh, to attempt this challenge as me and scott were both hoping to become the first winners of this challenge um you know and well ultimately i guess we'll get a record nonetheless if we were to complete that challenge at that you can also talk and cheer oh, anyway yeah. for sure <laughs> <laughs> anyway the only music over it so don't worry <laughs> So they prepared their uh, ground beef in house and they got their buns from a local bakery, local supplier, so that was pretty cool. The buns themselves were nice and soft, um, we were worried that you know maybe they would be really tough or you know etc because they were quite thick, there was quite a bit of a bun, but it, luckily it was soft, um, it was moist, it was supple which was great because I enjoy burgers and a soft bun is definitely a key part of a burger. Alright, got one quarter done. Tastes very good. Now we have my friend Mr. Ketchup. Mm -hmm. Now let's really get things going. It's a party now. 
this was both Scott's and I first time in Medicine Hat. A Medicine Hat, if you're not familiar, is kind of east, like southeast of Calgary. And it was about a three hour drive, I believe, three or three and a half hour drive from Calgary. Uh, definitely, you know, as you saw at the beginning of the video, through some flatlands, um, definitely a smaller area. But that being said, it had a lot of character. At least the people here did. The people were excellent. And the bar, this bar was just like, it was awesome. So it's kind of like a couple different restaurants in one. They have kind of this side of the restaurant. They have the other side of the restaurant. The other side's more like a steakhouse. This is more of the kind of the bar, um, which I mean, you can, they both have different menus, et cetera, et cetera. But I love this place. And I guess under normal circumstances too, they also have a big nightclub, um, which they have out of here. So this is like the happening spot in and around Medicine Hat, uh, you know, on like the Friday, Saturday kind of thing. So it was like such a cool spot to check out. Um, we definitely, if we're coming through the area, we're gonna stop and again, um, as it was just like such a cool, uh, cool venue, cool spot. And I'd love to see, you know, what this place would look like in full swing under, you know, normal circumstances. So we're about three minutes in. Yeah. We've both done half the burger, so. It's smoking, it's smoking. Yeah, it's going down really well, so it tastes phenomenal. The king is going off the throne today. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. Yes. <laughs> We had a few individuals that came out to watch us. So as always, huge thank you to everybody who comes out to watch. It's so great to meet our friends or subscribers. Um, kind of get to, you know, put a face to the name, name to the face, etc. Uh, as well, I had my friend Mr. Ketchup here. I love ketchup and ketchup always treats me well. Such a nice addition to burgers and all, well, really all kinds of different foods, but especially burgers. Um, I'm me and ketchup and burgers and fries and everything, just eating ketchup. Um, fries were also cooked perfectly. Um, being they were cooked, being they had a slight crisp, but they were not burnt at all. They were just like, they're honestly, if you could ever go to a restaurant, this is like the consistency of fries you want all the time, especially you want in a food challenge. Um, but then I think that's pretty much all the information that I have to give. Uh, should be pretty straightforward from here. So overall, about a five, five and a half, maybe, you know, whatever pound challenge. So I'll let you get the rest of the video, everybody. Hope you enjoy. Hopefully we can get some wins, become the first winner, and hopefully we can dethrone the King Ralph. So with that, let's see what happens. So just over four minutes in, going really well. Me and Scott basically done the last quarters. Let me surprise. Got a re-up on that ketchup. <laughs> All right. Just over six minutes in, I got my burger done. Scott's just a mouthful behind me, and just the fries. <coughs> we only have 54 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, French 
fries. And goodbye. Just finished up, maybe about eight minutes there or so. Um, very delicious, like that burger. Excuse me. The king has been dethroned. Scott is about to also dethrone the king. Absolutely uh, about to crush it. Just as down to his fries. Fries are not really easy. They were cooked perfectly. Just the right amount of crispness. Just the right amount of deliciousness. So with that, two on in. Scott continues to destroy this challenge. And that's it. <laughs> But, don't think I'm forgetting about dessert. I'm going to explore those options as well. Oh yeah, nice, eh? Yeah, perfect. Fry ball time. We'll make a new dance about it at Scotty School. So 11 minutes, Scott just crushed that. Good job, dude. Yeah, you too, my man. Smoke that. Seriously, though. And everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that challenge. Very delicious. I really like this place. I'm gonna show you around. This place is super cool. That freaking prohibition room is amazing. I just want to sit up there. Yeah. I feel like yeah, a king yeah. up there. You have dessert up there, King right? Ralph up there, yeah. Oh, yeah, dessert. Okay, yeah. so let's look at dessert. Scott, congratulations. You that too, everybody. Man. Thank you for watching.
for winning the Neil Free Oscar Free T-shirt, which is pretty damn cool. And uh, yeah, no complaints, man. Yeah, no, it's delicious. I can't wait for dessert and much more of the same, right? Starving, right? Yeah, starving. Okay, excellent. Well, that everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Until next time, say happy to the hungry course. Happy eating. You know what to do. All right, we got dessert. We got chocolate pie, cause hell right. We got a house-made cheesecake as hell right. Look at that presentation, it's beautiful. And it is a lime ginger, so it's gonna be very interesting tasting. Scott got a piece as well. Yeah. They only have one piece of the chocolate pie left, so don't worry, I'll give Scott a bite. I'm a nice man, yeah, I yeah. share. The winner, winner gets it all, right? No, 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 <laughs> I share. But uh, yeah, let's give it a go. And I'm gonna try cheesecake. And generally, like cheesecake is not my number one dessert, but it just smells really good. So I'm sure it's going to be really good. And it's house made. How can I say no? But uh, first off, I'll, I'll start with the cheesecake. Okay. I'm the same yeah. chocolate pie. So cheesecake. Yeah, we got these little things. I forgot they're called. No, they're like um, somebody. You know what this is called? Common low. They're like a hazelnut wafer thing. I think like chocolate hazelnut. Maybe it's just a wafer. Alright, shot the wafer. And then the cheesecake, what kind was it? It had a ginger. Lime ginger. Lime ginger, okay. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, Scott. <laughs> Damn. I wasn't sure about well, ginger, but. It's a really good combination. The sharpness of the lime dulling the strength of the ginger, and then the creaminess of the cheesecake. Which I, I, I like this kind of cheesecake because it doesn't taste super, super, super like sour. Um, it's very, uh, that really richness, that creaminess, that cheese, cream cheese aspect, also just mild so ginger. And it's got a nice crunchy. Yeah, the crust is really crust good. The crust as well. I would recommend, yeah. yeah. I like that. And they're saying that, I guess normally they have like a different cheesecake on each every week. To make them here, so just switch it out. So lime ginger. Beautiful. Definitely a buy. Dig it, my brother. All right. So it looks like chocolate. Looks like pie. It smells delicious. Oh. I'm nicer than Scott, so I'm gonna wait to cheer. Cheers. There we go. Enjoy, brother. Chocolate pie. Woo. All right. So it's like that. It has a very, it's like a deeper chocolate flavor. A little bit like, a little bit milder tasting than the cheesecake. Cheesecake was very like, and this was a little bit more milder. But it has that really good kind of deep chocolatey aspect and tones to it. So I like that deep chocolate. And in fact, it's not overly sweet. So if for some reason you're a person that doesn't like overly sweet, Desserts, like it's less sweet than the cheesecake. So this would definitely fit your bill. Let's dessert. Yeah. I like it. Well everybody, I already say goodbye, so just live your life. Have a good day. And a huge thanks to our friends, Miss Chandra and Sam, for coming on out. What did you think of the challenge? It was amazing. To watch it online is one thing, but to watch them in real life, it's, it's been better. Amazing. Perfect. Hey, well, thank you so much. Very much enjoyed you coming out. Glad you enjoyed as well. And uh, till next time, Medicine Hat. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I liked it. Medicine Hat's a cool place. So yeah. thanks for sharing your hometown with me. Here they call it their prohibition room. They got a whole bunch of Al Capone stuff. Got a lovely like dining room with all these leather chairs and. It's like, this is a, this is like a executive lounge up here, basically. Yeah. Look at these chairs. That is like, Ooh. those are bougie, brand new leather chairs. Dude, I need to, this is, this is my kind of spot. Here we have the, it's obviously kind of closed right now with the dim, well, only some lights on, but we have their uh, steak restaurant. Over here we have their nightclub. They got quite a happening spot here. Then of course, here we have the, Awesome bar, lovely woodwork. That's a really cool looking spot. It's huge.